Okay, I'm gonna stop for a second and talk to you because, um, yeah, I'm inspired. But yeah, I'm just realizing that, you know, like my whole life I was wearing a mask all the time in different places. And like when it comes to like neurodivergency, um, right here actually, um, we often talk about like masking to cover up the autism or the um, ADHD or just whatever neurodivergency is and it's really to me it felt like a very sensitive energy that I had my whole life that I had to protect because it was never really safe and I never learned that like it's really really safe here like to just be as I am and just be in the energy field and to be in the senses but like being neurodivergent the senses were always overwhelming for me and being here was never actually physically safe or emotionally safe. So now I feel like it's just this, like no mask, like the, the masks are like taken away in the process of awakening. And then there has to be this like recalibration of the body and the nervous system learning how to be in reality without protection in a way um, to be fully just open and receptive all the time and that that's caused me a lot of anxiety in my body because I go into like an airport or a grocery store or a very energetic environment and I feel everything <laughs> um, and it can be overwhelming to the system so I learned over the years how to like mask and ground my energy and protect myself, which are all valuable tools. But like this, in a way, feels like a development of that or a maturity of that where I can stay open using my tools and using prayer to move through the environment and like let, let the senses guide it, right? So it's like... Like, I just walked down an area and I got completely lost because I just, like, can't seem to keep a linearity in my mind. Like, I'm just like, okay, well, now where am I? Okay, let me look at the phone again and see where I'm, where I'm, trying, to, where I'm trying to head to and ask for help. And, like, those things used to really, like, give me a lot of anxiety and fear of, like, I'm not safe in, in an environment where I'm confused. And I feel so safe energetically being held by this... Um, true nature that that stability of relying on true nature and asking true nature to be with me and support me and guide me and just letting it really letting it guide the, the experience um, leads me to remember my tools like I used to have tools before and then re not remember to use them because I'd be overstimulated or overwhelmed my nervous system would be too overwhelmed for me to think like do the tapping exercise or slow breathing or ask somebody for help so the it's it's the relationship with divine that i that is allowing me to remember the things in the relative that are helpful things for the body for the physical energy for the physical form um, because it feels like the disorientation which is the energetic nature of, of, of reality is, is fine it's actually really really safe but it's a recalibration process for sure um, and I it's tricky being neurodivergent because the protection and all the masks are not there um, coping mechanisms in the way that were built through fear now I have healthy coping mechanisms that are built through health through self-regulation through understanding um, the way my brain works, the way my body moves, and allowing it to recalibrate to reality. And yeah, I just wanted to share that because I think it's very common that people, maybe it's common that people are neurodivergent and then they wake up and then they find out they're neurodivergent. They have autism or ADHD or dyslexia or something like that. Um, or 
just in general without being neurodivergent when you awaken and, and you keep letting go of this, this conditioned self, which is a protective mechanism for being fully here, feeling it all, seeing it all, experiencing it also directly. It's a separation from reality, that conditioned self. So when that falls away, and it does over time, right, more and more, so when that falls away more and more, there becomes this like hyper-receptivity, hypersensitivity, and also a lot of disorientation and confusion, like you might not know where you are, even though it could be a familiar place that you've been to a bunch of times. And I just wanted to talk about this because those things are all too common. And maybe me sharing my experience will help support you in some way. So yeah, most of you that are probably watching um, are familiar with me to some extent and my story, but if you're new, hello, welcome. Nice to have you here. My name is Violet, yeah. and I'm really passionate about this process of moving from the conditioned self the way we're taught to be, uh, contracted energetically, we start suffering, into a natural expression, awakening, um, and just, yeah, freedom to be here more fully. I'm really passionate about that. It's been this long journey in my life and um, ongoingly. <laughs> and yeah, I just, I feel like we're designed to live naturally here and live open here and live as we are, you know, like it's a sense, the actual reality, I would call it. It's a sensory thing, right? So um, I use a lot of different things like nervous system regulation techniques to help the body recalibrate to naturalness from conditioned self that has masks and pretending I'm someone and all this BS, but it's innocent BS, but to being fully open and living the true nature of unconditioned and love. So I hope this video is helpful. I have to try to orient again. I keep losing orientation, which is quite funny, but it's okay, right? It's all right. Um, it used to mean I'm not safe, like I said, but now it doesn't mean that. It just means I'm, I'm open, I'm here, um, surrendered. And that's really beautiful, I think. Um, so yeah, I need to orient to finding my gate again. <laughs> I think it's that way, so I'll be okay. Um, and yeah, lots of love. Hope to see you soon. Bye.